So I figured for my first video I should show you guys my Blu-ray collection and my DVD collection. This is the majority of it. I also have a heap of rare cartoons on DVD but I'll do that one separately because it's massive. Um, to begin with I'm just gonna say I only, I'm Australian but I only buy local Blu-rays of local content because I like to support the originating release and I don't want all that frame rate problems and they're always inferior to the main release I find so anything here that's Australian is pretty much Australian made or the release was exclusive so starting off is a perfect example it's season one of Total Drama Island the American release was cropped to 4.3 Australian release is uncut and it's in 16 by 9 then we have Round the Twist complete every episode then some random CJ the DJ DVD they didn't release the complete series which is annoying then I have Dance Academy season 2 seasons 1 and actually I don't know why I have season 2 the first two seasons are available on Amazon Germany in HD and season 3 is on iTunes in HD so just have that because I can then we have Dead Gorgeous Complete Season 2 of Blue Water High, which is, it used to be rare, but now you can get it on eBay for pretty cheap. Season 1 is still really rare though, and I regret buying Season 2 instead of Season 1. Then there's the two Australian releases of Jimmy Neutron, Season 1 and Season 2, and those were released on a manufactured on demand Amazon release but they were best of releases which means I'm missing episodes as far as I know these two are complete then there's the pressed Australian release of Drake and Josh best of seasons one and two this is a out of print Amazon mod title and this one's pressed so it has the benefit and it's still in print which means I could buy it then I have iCarly Season 1 which I got for cheap just because I thought it might have the pilot on it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Then back to the barnyard, this is Season 1 and it's pressed instead of the mod version. Then the first two seasons have all grown up which have only been released in Australia. Then I have my Rocket Power collection which is all four of the mod releases and two of the Australian releases. Haven't compared them yet but I assume they're the same except the Australian ones are better because they're pressed and here's Zoe 101 for every season of this they're all mod releases except the first one actually and annoyingly they're not in proper widescreen they have black bars on the top and bottom of the screen then we have Doug the complete series of Nickelodeon anyway Disney still haven't released their version as you can still see, it's still brand new and sealed. If you want any of this stuff unboxed, just leave a comment and I'll do it. Then there's the Magic Riddle, which is an obscure Yoram Gross movie. Then Blinky Bill from Yoram Gross as well. This whole section pretty much is from him. Then there's the animated series of Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. This is a pretty rare set, it's not often available. Then there's Flipper and the Parker. There's an American release of this, but uh, it's at the wrong frame rate and the quality is pretty bad. This only contains 13 episodes so the American one has 26 and I have that somewhere but not here. Here's George and Martha. Just bought this because it's a DVD. There's iTunes versions which are probably at the right frame rate so I think it's out of print as well. Then there's Class of 3000 Season 1. Australia is the only place that got released. Exchange Student Zero which is an Australian release and show from Cartoon Network, Monster Beach, Australian movie. Then the latest buzz and Naturally Sadie, which are both Canadian. And also Sam Fox Extreme Adventures. These have all been Australian releases by the way, because Canada's were cropped and not complete. Then we have Tiny Toon Adventures season um, volumes three and four. Don't have the first two yet. Then a random Teen Picks DVD because it had an episode of Romeo on it. Dukes of Hazard Reunion because it was cheap. 
Sabrina Down Under, which I think is a bootleg, and the five volumes of Brady's Beasts, which were released in India, I think, or something, somewhere similar, which surprisingly are genuine and good quality. And this shelf is mainly Blu-ray, so it might take a bit longer than the first video. Uh, first up is How's That, which was an Australian miniseries about Kerry Packer and changing cricket history and stuff like that. Second is Changing Malat, which was an Australian miniseries about Ivan Malat. Most of these are Australian miniseries because I only buy from Amazon once a year because of the shipping price. Um, third is The Beautiful Lie, which as you probably guessed is an Australian miniseries. And then I have all the underbellies, which stretches across here. Fat Tony and Co is also underbelly. Then there's the complete series of Puberty Blues, which was an Australian TV series. Then the Australian exclusive release of Over the Garden Wall from Cardo Network, the only release of it. Then there's season two of Pact of Arafters, the one season they released on Blu-ray, kind of sold well. Then there's Tomorrow When the War Began, the TV show, not the movie. And Steven Universe season one, which is also exclusive to Australia. Now finally, an American title, which is Spectacular Spider-Man, complete series. And then The Nude Bomb, which is an American movie of Get Smart, but it's an Australian exclusive because it's pretty obscure. I don't really know why it was released, but I bought it, so others probably did too. Then there's The Adventures of Tintin on Blu-ray, which I shouldn't have bought because it's cropped to 16x9, but it's the only HD version available. Then the Australian miniseries of Gallipoli, which is a special edition with an extra disc, I think. Then some Australian movies. Now at Honey, Last Cab to Darwin, and Blinky Bill, and Footroot Flats, The Dog's Tale, then a random release of, Garf of The Garfield Show, Against All Tides, which was a few episodes that made a movie together pretty much. Then there's Chris Lilly's We Can Be Heroes, he's an Australian comedian who makes heaps of TV shows. That was a pretty good one. Then two random volumes of Blue Water High because I can't find the complete season. And then Neighbours' 30th anniversary, the stars reunite. Then moving on to this shelf. I guess this is really the same shelf, but it's split off. <coughs> First up is the Sapphire edition of Forrest Gump, which has a bonus disc. I recommend it for the disc, but the packaging's a bit annoying. Hard to get the discs out, but I don't think they get scratched. And there's Fat Pizza vs. Houzos, which is an Australian movie. Then The Blob, two disc collector's edition. I think they only made 2,000 of these, but still in print. Well, it's not in print, but they're not sold out. So you can still get one of those, but there's no real benefit to it except some special features, I think. The transfer of the original movie isn't as good as the Twilight Time version, and... Return of the Blob or whatever it is is only in SD even though there's a HD version available in Germany or somewhere or maybe it's America. Then next is Quantum Leap season one which is only like six episodes but I still supported the release because I thought they'd quit if they didn't get people buying it and sure enough they did quit. So I'm waiting to see what happens with that because I don't want to just have one season of it which is why I haven't opened it so I might have to sell it honestly. Next is Gallipoli the movie which is two discs so I guess it's a special edition. Then there's a few American movies I got for cheap. Imagine That, Scooby Doo Legend of a Vampire, Guilt Trip, Bench Warmers, Tom and Jerry Bar Blast Off to Mars. Um, then we're up to more Australian movies, Paper Planes, Oddball, Wolf Creek 2, the director's cut, which is R, there's an M version which is edited, so I didn't get that, and I don't have the first movie because the only place you can get it uncut is Germany, and I haven't bought anything from there in quite a while, so I'm waiting until my next order, and there's Red Dog, Verova, 
there was some kind of benefit to the Australian version, can't remember what it was. Now two more American movies, The Notebook and Fun Size. Then Molly, which was another Australian miniseries, and Two Little Boys, which was a New Zealand movie starring Hamish Blake, I think. And then Tomorrow When the War Began, the movie version. I think I'll just move on to the last shelf because it's pretty small. Complete series of friends there, which I've made a video about, I'll put up later, I guess. It's the best version because the American one has paper sleeves or something which scratches the discs. And then there's Kingswood Country, best of. They never released the complete series, so this is the best you can get. And then the German set of King of Queens on Blu-ray. Only set of King, on, King of Queens on Blu-ray. And then here is Peanuts Classics, Boy Named Charlie Brown and Snoopy Come Home. This is the Australian version, which once was the only version. But now there's an American version in the proper aspect ratio, so I'm trying to sell that. Then there's Pitch Perfect, the Australian one. Just got that for cheap, so I could sell it off pretty much. Chappelle, which is a DVD, will sell that as well, because it's on iTunes in HD. Then there's Dance Academy, first series, which I'll also be selling, because it's on Amazon Germany in HD, I believe. Then there's Ned's Declassified Schools Survival Guide Season 1, which I bought because it falsely advertised that it had a pilot included, and it didn't. And two more copies of iCarly Season 1, which I got for cheap. Random DVD of I Got a Rocket. I recorded this myself from TV in widescreen, but this is cropped, so I have no use for it. Two volumes of Neighbours, iconic episodes. Gilligan's Planet, the complete series. I bought this before iTunes released it in HD, so it's kind of useless now. DVD of Fast Forward I got for like four bucks. And here's the complete first series of Flipper and La Parker, which I mentioned in the last video. And that has 13 episodes more, but the quality is worse and the frame rate's wrong. Then Really Me, which is on somewhere in HD, probably iTunes or Amazon, I'm not sure. So I'm not sure why I bought those, they must have been cheap. And then two sets of Geron Geronimo Stilton that I imported from Canada years ago. I think that's on Amazon in HD too, which is really biting me in the bum. Then there's the Best of Bull Pit, which is a spin-off of Kingswood Country, which I showed here. That also wasn't completely released. And then the final season of Becca. Wish I bought the second season because that's now out of print and really hard to find, but I didn't. And that's the American one, which is manufactured on demand, I think. The Australian one might be better to buy, but I'm not sure if it has the right frame rate. Haven't checked. And that's about everything for now, besides the rare cartoon ones I mentioned in the last video. If you want to see that, leave a comment.